So right now I'm just going to be doing a review on a Mohawk power supply. And the reason why I'm making this video is just when we were designing it, we were covering resistors in class and there was a lot of questions as to how this works and how it performs when we we're building it, but unfortunately we just weren't at the understanding. So my goal is to show you the basic design of this and how it works and just explain some of the questions that uh, I was asking when I was designing this. So from a media, it has 12 volts AC, negative 12 volts, a ground, 5 volts positive DC, and 12 volts positive DC. And it's all being powered by a input transformer of 12 volts. And there's just a quick little view of the circuit board when it's all put together. Uh, immediately, this is a really useful tool. Um, I use it practically every day at school. And even when I'm not at school, it's uh, very functional, actually. So it's a nice little power supply. And if you're not from Mohawk College, there's also going to be schematics and stuff. So if you want to mimic this in a way that you will be able to. Now, just following the initial segment now, we're going to be just going over the parts list and as well as the schematic. And then after that, I will be reviewing how it actually transforms an alternating current into a DC voltage. So right now, I'm just going to explain how each branch of the circuit works just by going over one. So what we have here is the first stage, the input, which is 14 volts alternating current. So as you can see, the wave goes up and down. But now when it goes through the diode, the diode only allows current to flow one way. So that's when we get a ripple like this. And that's why we miss this segment. Now what we do here is on this one, this is called the capacitor, and it builds up a charge and then discharges. So that's when the wave begins to look like this. Then when it passes through this, this is called a voltage regulator, it regulates to the voltage that's uh, set for, and this one right here, the 7.8 stands for positive, and the 0.5 stands for the output voltage, so it's 5 volts, so that's why we have a DC load line of 5 volts. Now we also have another filter capacitor here, because even though this is rectified, it's not 100%, there's still a very small ripple, but it's very subtle. And then your output's 5 volts DC. Now I know I didn't cover everything in this, so if you have any questions about how this circuit works, post them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Thanks for watching, have yourself a great day.